A woman is being investigated by police after she posted a video of herself on Snapchat where she was wearing a mini skirt and crop top in public. Sound a bit weird? I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know here for you on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload, I'm Charlotte Dobre. If you didn't know already, Saudi Arabia has strict dress codes for women. It's known for its women being clothed in long black cloaks called abayas, paired with a hijab, otherwise known as a headscarf. They also wear niqabs, which leaves a small slit for the eyes, and a burqa, which covers a a woman from head to toe with only a mesh piece of fabric over the eyes. The full covering of women in Saudi Arabia is enforced by religious police and volunteers who report rule breakers. It is even enforced when it comes to a foreign woman visiting the country. A model who identifies herself as Kulud visited a historic site in Saudi Arabia called Yushakir. She was wearing a cropped shirt and a miniskirt that ended just above her knees. A male companion took a video of her and posted it to Snapchat. The video went viral and for good reason. This particular this particular historic site is in one of the most conservative areas of Saudi Arabia. Social media is very popular in Saudi Arabia. It's where people go to vent frustrations and share their opinions. The video caused a public outcry and many people called for Kulu to be arrested. One of the founders of Wahhabism, a strict form of Islam practiced by the Saudi royal family, was from Yushakir. This strict form of Islam is one of the reasons why Saudi Arabia has a dress code for women. People saw this video of Kulu and reported it to the religious police. Local news outlets who picked up the story have actually blurred out Kalud's arms and legs. They said that her choice of clothing was indecent. Many have criticized her disregard for Saudi Arabian law, and many others have called her brave. Saudi Arabia is a very different place for a woman. When a western woman arrives in Saudi Arabia, it's almost like going back in time. Many of these rules are based on desert traditions. If you're a woman in Saudi Arabia, you can't drive, you can't get a passport without a male relative's permission, and you can't be seen in the company of men that you aren't related to. Change is happening slowly though. Just last week, the government and announced that girls will now be allowed to play sports and enroll in physical education in school. The religious police have also been recently restricted, they don't have the power to arrest people anymore. As for Kulud, come on dude, she wore a mini skirt, she didn't hurt anybody. That's my two cents, tell me yours in the comments below, but right now it's that fun part of the video where I'm going to respond to some comments from previous videos. Homerless said, I have four children in my basement eating potatoes wearing a potato sweater. That's concerning. Are all four children wearing the same sweater? Like as in they're all like one head is sticking out of an arm kind of thing. The magic potato said, you're pretty today, Charlotte. Well, thanks. Wait, just today? What about other days? Am I not pretty other days? <laughs> okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching IO. Smash the like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our channel for all your trending news and I'll see you in the next video.